so much. Greetings and welcome to I2I, the Incentive to Innovate Conference. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, I know that on behalf of the XPRIZE team, the team at BT, United Nations and the John Templeton Foundation, we've been looking forward to this day for a long time. The United Nations is pleased to host this important conference. I was pleased to learn that you'll be discussing the pressing challenges of healthcare, energy, sustainable development and others at this conference. I wish you every success in these timely and important discussions. The power in this room ain't up here, it's out there. The time has come for a new model of innovation. Any content now has to be immediate, intimate, and interactive. It is really cool to be here. What is actually happening to the sphere of innovation possibilities? This is what's happening. Fundamentally, I believe that all problems can be solved. The question is how to do it in an efficient fashion. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be giving you and teaching you the best practices. What has worked, what has failed, on two critical tools. One, incentivize competitions. How do you use these to drive breakthroughs in areas that have been stuck, where there are market failures? Then open collaboration. How do you reach out to the top minds, genius around the planet, and get them to work on the thing that you're so passionate about changing? You know anything about this foundation, you will know it's a place for letting loose. It's a place to pop and to innovate and be excited. Why is innovation changing fundamentally, and where's it going? The internet is becoming a giant, global, programmable computer. And when we all share a computer, that means that we have a platform for collaboration. I want to see a, a show of hands for everybody who is on LinkedIn at this point. What I think is changing in the world is that every individual is now a small business. You think of how do I, as an individual professional, stay competitive right, in a globally competitive world? How do I innovate in the practices that I do in order to be a successful professional. You have to constantly be willing to change and make that a part of your DNA to make things better. And that applies not just to the innovation you're working on, but also the process you use to innovate. Working with Congress, we've been able to invest $20 billion in basic research, the largest increase in our nation's history. I said, we're going to take all our proprietary data, throw it up on the web, and ask the world to tell us where we're going to find the next six million ounces of gold and throw in prize money of half a million dollars. We invested about a million. Today it's worth more than six billion. It's still getting bigger. What are we not doing today, even with traditional energy, that we could be doing if we had easier, cleaner energy as well? We have a whole new challenge that we're, that we're facing, and it's only one that's going to be met through government and collaboration with private industry and universities working on entrepreneurial and innovative ideas that's going to be able to transform the way we conduct the business in these areas. Progressive has been able to find its way in the industry and become relatively uh, sizable by doing things differently. We have had numerous customers write to us and say, we're proud to do business with you if you're converting some of your sales into this kind of a uh, use of funds. What's been great about this conference is not meeting a whole lot of people with like minds, but meeting people with unlike minds. I toy has been a terrific experience. I think first you look at the keynote speakers, and just an astounding group of speakers. I have more ideas per minute than any conference I've been to in years. This conference proves how powerful the, the concept of collaboration is. It's ideas uh, that people can take away, it's practices they can say, wait a second, this leading company is doing it, why aren't, why aren't we doing it? And I think that's just great. Often it's the people who come from outside the problem space who bring the best solutions and who bring the newest innovation. And here we've had a whole collection of people from all walks of life and it's been absolutely fantastic. 